marching on his way. Today, 
It's a Tuesday. Why? It's Tuesday the 28th. What's this? Here's a book that's ahead of the date. A strange sort of book. It tells you things before they happen. Come home with me now, if you say. Why? What's up? This thing won't play. You must teach me how to make it go. I've only ten days leave, you know. I shall lend you my carriage and pair if you walk me much more slow. But mother will worry if I'm late. It's not the first time she's had to wait. And, and my girlfriend expects me too. You'll make it up to her soon. She'll be all the more pleased when you do. This place of yours, is it abroad? Wine, dined, all found, full bed and board. Home in a carriage, like a lord. Two or three days a step out of your way, and then you'll be as rich as the king of cafe. Yes, the old fellow kept his word. Two days well spent, then came the third. That morning, the old man wakes Joseph as soon as it's light and says, Are you ready? And Joseph says, Right. Did you have a good night? And Joseph says, Yes. And the devil looks on as he gets up to dress. Have you any complaints? And Joseph says, No. Right you are, says old Nick. Then off we go. They get in the carriage, waiting below, and the devil says, Hop! And off they go. Only Joseph, watching the horse's flying feet, finds himself holding on with both hands to his seat with all his might, till his knuckles are white. Hold tight, cries the little old man. Hold on tight. And the carriage is suddenly travelling up in the air, hurtling. Rattling, rolling around the sky, and Joseph's hair stands on end, and he nearly faints. Have you any complaints? Have you any complaints? Higher and higher over valley and hill, faster and faster, up and up they soar, till time stands still. Then everything is as it was before. He's been marching all the day, happy now, he's home to stay. Ah, all right, here we are, we're home at last. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Gray, she's in her garden. Hello there, how's the world with you? Uh, she doesn't hear me, uh, never mind. Um, oh, there's Arthur, hey, hey Arthur. He's mowing the five-acre meadow, good old friend, the true. Eh? What's the matter if he doesn't reply? Arthur, hi! Don't you know me? Why, it's Joseph. Joseph, the soldier. Joe, you remember him. You know. The mower mows on. And on we go. And there's the school with the tower and the bell. Joseph! Oh, Joe! You remember him well. Here's the mill, the inn, now villagers everywhere. Men, women, and children stand and stare. What's the matter? What's up with the lot of you? What's got into you all? Are you afraid of me? Or what? You know me. All of you there. Joseph! No one speaks. And then a door slams, and another slams, and more and more, and the rusty hinges shriek as every door slams shut. That's funny, he thinks. But mother will know. I'd better go. She sees him coming. She screams and runs away. So then he thinks, there's my fiance. Married. With two children. Eh? Eh? The dirty cheat. The dirty rotten cheat. I know who you are at last. I know what's happened. I know you, I've taken my time about it too. It wasn't three days. Three years have passed. They all take me for a ghost. I'm dead among the living. I should have had my suspicions, but no. I listened to him like a fool. I had to go and listen to him. 
and I gave him my fiddle of all the luck. And now what am I going to do? What am I going to do now? What am I going to do now? Here, 
Take this for so we have our pride. Nothing for nothing is the rule. Each has his little job to do. Uh, my case is just outside, so you please let me go and bring it in to you. Now, look, sir, look. Look at all these lovely things. Uh, watches, necklaces, uh, and rings. Some lace, sir. Uh, don't be afraid, sir, to say so. It's true, of course, you haven't a wife. Each has his little job in life. Uh, a lucky medallion engraved on the back? No. No, every time. Now, what do you lack? Uh, a mirror, perhaps? Uh, no. Uh, oh dear, what a shame. Uh, a beautiful picture, complete with frame? Ah, that seems to arouse your interest. Uh, is, it, is it no? Still no? The same as the rest? Or would a little fiddle be best? How much? How much? How much, I say? Well, as we're friends, I won't stand in the way. Try it first, see what you say. We'll fix a price. Let's hear you play. Now he goes the other way, marching on all day. Now he comes to another land, a village on the frontier and an inn. He thinks, shall I cross over? He thinks, why not? He goes to the inn, orders a tot, drinks it down. Yes, and now what? But what's this? Suddenly, the world outside comes crashing in again. Somebody starts to beat a drum, and someone beats a drum because the princess of the realm, the only daughter of the king, lies ill in bed. She neither sleeps, nor speaks, nor eats, nor anything. And the king proclaims to the sound of the drum, <clears throat> that whatsoever man shall come and raise his daughter from her bed, that man, the fair princess, shall wed. After all, why not? And he's up, and he's out, quick as a whip. He's up, he's off, and makes his way towards the palace gates. He gives a ring. Where are you going? The sentries say. Where am I going? To see the king.
They gave the word for the band to play. The king received me, the king, no less. He said to me, you are a doctor? I said, an army doctor, yes. Um, Many have come, you know, but none have stayed. Oh, I have my methods, I said. I'm not dismayed. Very well. Tomorrow you see the princess. It went off just as we thought it would. That fellow was right. So far, so good. Just think, a girl to call my own after so many years alone. Why not? Why shouldn't the love be mine? Ask the cars. What do you say? Six of hearts. Ten of hearts. Queen of hearts. Nothing but hearts. Trumps all the way. It's true. Why not? Why shouldn't it be me? I'll have a wife of my own. Only for me, and what's more, a princess too. Someone's here ahead of you. You were silly to be upset. You were rich and esteemed. You get a sudden whim, don't count the cost. And now, my poor young friend, you're lost. Six of hearts, ten of hearts, Hearts all the way, you told yourself, it's my lucky day. Well, do you still believe it's true? I have my methods. I, not you. It's true what he says. He's got me for sure. He'll do the trick. He's got the cure. I'll have nothing, nothing at all once more. Go for him, just the same. Knock him down. Bang his head on the floor. He isn't a man. I can do nothing more. You can. I tell you, you can. Don't you see how it is? He's got you because of the money. You still have money of his. Get rid of that and you're saved. Go on, begin. Offer to play him at cards. He's sure to win. He'll win. He always likes to win. You'll lose, and he'll be lost. Begin.
Soon now he's going to come to you because there's nothing he can't do. Soon now he'll be outside the door because he's found himself once more. Soon now he'll come to claim his wife because he has been brought back to life. He's going to bring you back to life. Thank you. 
princess. And though he was no doctor, he did have one guess. On a hunch, he began to play his violin, and he found that the cure was within that magical sound. As his music flowed out with gentle affection, the colour returned to her ghostly complexion. His melody continued, both thrilling and sweet, and slowly the princess rose to her feet. As Joseph's concerto turned into a dance, the beautiful princess came out of her trance. She took in the music and started to sway, and soon she and Joseph were dancing away. A tango, a waltz, a rag, all performed, the princess, the soldier, together, transformed. But what's this? What unpleasant figure do they see, creeping from the shadows, sneering with glee? It's that devil again. His stupor didn't last long, and now he's back, and it'll all go wrong. He's got his eye on my violin, I can tell. And I bet he wants to take my princess as well. I've got all I wanted. This is my day. But this rotten cheek just will not go away. And what can I do? I'm no match for old Nick. How can I save her? There must be some trick. My violin worked its magic before. Perhaps it could do the same once more. One happy thing is 
produce every happy thing. Two is as if they had never been. Changes his mind. 